It's been a game of two halves for George Honeyman and Sunderland in 2018. The first half was the stuff of nightmares, but this year of horrors has a happy ending. Well, a hopeful ending at least. But before we get to the good second half, it's important to recognise just how bad the first half was. The Black Cats fell from the skies to the scorched earth of League One. The mighty had fallen and fallen hard. All I ever wanted to do was, was play for this football club. So, so when I'm playing, but then at the same time, the team's doing really badly, it's kind of like, oh, you're part of the squad that's at the bottom of the championship and, and getting called the worst team in the club's history. It was awful. I, I mean, as you've probably heard people who ha who've been through relegations or, or whatever and the jobs when it's not going well, it, you know, it affects everything in your life. It, um, it takes you to some, uh, some, some real down, dark places and, and it's, um, it's tough to stomach because that, that'll, all, that'll always live with us, but uh, I think everyone who's involved in that last year and now involved with the club this year wants to do everything in the power to put that right. Everything changed. It had to. Ellis Short left and took the club's massive debt with him. Chris Coleman was collateral damage. A new owner arrived, a new manager and new players followed. George became the new captain and this boyhood Sunderland fan couldn't have been prouder. A new life has begun. Everything that has happened since then has been majorly positive. The manager and staff have been unbelievable. I think anyone that, that has come across them, you ask any member of the squad, they all love working with them and uh, they're a real pleasure to be around. Uh, so that instantly lifts the club as well. And then our recruitment in the in the summer has been really good in terms of we, we've got right players for the right league, but we've also got good characters, which is, you know, in, in any work, you need good characters and you need, need good people. Um, it's not just about being good at football sometimes, do you know what I mean? So that's been missing from the club, I would say. For, for, from my experience the last few years and couldn't be in a better place, I don't think. Um, as, as, as I've said, uh, just be part of the football club and how much of a buzz there is around the place, how, how good everyone's feeling about it. It's, uh, you know, it makes, it makes my job as being captain easy. Um, and, and yeah, at, at this moment in time, the only thing I would change is if we were number one in the league, but we'll get, we'll get there, hopefully. <laughs> Every conversation about Sunderland this season tends to include the phrase, but it's only League One. That's just a fact they have to live with. But it's only two defeats in 23 league games. It's only hope instead of despair. They can only just see the end of the tunnel, and it's still a long way off. But there's light there now.